What's going on guys, George Gonzalez, and I am running a quick review of the installation and uh, my thoughts on the Vocal Link LED strip. So thanks again for watching guys. Um, for following along installing uh, this LED strip, uh, I've actually installed it a few weeks ago and um, so it'll be kind of a, um, a good overall review. So, uh, purpose of this video is not paid. I bought this with my own money. Um, but, you know, I'm starting to get into the home kit uh, ecosystem, home um, accessories, things like that. So this channel will be focused on home, uh, home things, home tech, kind of a techie guy. So if this is something that you want to see, hey, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to check out my other channel, I'll plug it below. That is more uh, in my, I guess, line of work. But back to the LED strip, reason why you're here. And um, I'm going to say I recommend it um, only because of the, um, of the capability that it has. So there aren't many home kit um, LED strips that you'll find. Um, Amazon or I'll, I'll link it below, you know, it's a affiliate link. So if you want to buy it through there, support the channel, I re really appreciate it. But um, just Amazon, Home Depot, Lowe's, not too many home kit um, enabled lighting kits. Uh, you know, you'll have your Philips Hue systems, you'll have your other brands that are popping up, LE um, companies that are popping up. But if you want to be in that home kit um, ecosystem and the ease of use that comes with having home kit in your smart home, um, I'd recommend at least starting here. Uh, number one, it is affordable. I believe it's $38, uh, at least when it was when I bought it. And then uh, they do have like an extension kit. So, you know, if you need an extra long cable, um, that is, and I believe another 20 bucks. So um, I definitely like it. Ease of use is, is pretty easy. It's it's in HomeKit. You can change on the HomeKit app. You can change the colors, and you can change. You can set up automations and scenes. On the actual Vocal Link app, there you can have a little bit more fun with it. It has more uh, different settings like a breathe, a fireplace, things like that. Um, pretty easy. As far as the installation goes, again, pretty straightforward. Uh, this was my first time installing an LED uh, system. I've done smart lighting, but not just the strip. So I'll say that it has everything you need. Um, I've always say now looking back from installation, it'd be good to know where your part power source is gonna be and how you're going to connect it to the power source. That was probably the one thing I would redo. Um, so if you are connecting this like behind a TV, probably gonna be super easy. I did this under the uh, our coffee bar, um, under the cabinet there. And the reason is, is there's no light there. There is a plug there, that was a bonus. And in the mornings, I don't always like to turn all the lights. I usually, you know, if I wake up before the family, that's my only source of light. So my options are pretty limited without this light um, if I wanna get a cup of coffee in the morning. So the cool thing is I can control it for, with my phone. Um, I can control it with HomePod, uh, with my phone. So that's a huge bonus. So, um, and I know there's another uh, content creator that I actually got this idea from. And he, all he does, he um, did it on top of his cabinets in kind of like a security system style automation. So I'll link that below or here in the card. Cause I thought that's pretty cool. So it gives you like an extra layer of not only smart home lighting, but security. So thanks again for watching guys. My name is George Gonzalez with uh, this Vocal Link LED strip review. Peace.